Hey guys, I wanted to do one more video for you because I'm getting asked a specific question a lot on photos and I'm getting messages and things like that. So I wanted to kind of answer this question once and for all and it is about what kind of red lipstick I wear. Um, there are a lot of lipsticks and um, balms and stains and stuff like that on the market for women who like red lips, but my personal favorite that I always seem to go back to, even after trying new things, is a matte red. Um, my favorite right now that you have been seeing in all of my photos, photo shoots, personal photos, videos, um, the one that I wear everywhere every day, is by CoverGirl, and it is, I believe, their Outless brand. I'm not sure. It is in this purple silvery tube and it is in color 305 Hot Passion and it's more of a matte lipstick it stays on really well it doesn't run all over my face um, I can kind of put it on before I go to a shoot or anything like that and I don't really have to put it back on until well really ever it doesn't come off it just stays there <laughs> so it might just be my lips, it just might be how it reacts to my body, but uh, it stays on really, really well. I use a about two to three shades darker of a lip liner, um, which I put on first. And this is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Gash. Now, I bought a whole bunch of these when I was still doing makeup professionally at Ulta. Um, I don't know if they still make them, this color, or anything like that, but... When you go to purchase your lip products, the pencil, just make sure that it's one of those that claims outlast 24 hours, things like that, because they tend to be drier, so they stay on a lot longer. Um, and make sure that it's just a couple shades darker than your lipstick. Um, I like to do that because I think that it gives my signature red lip a little extra. It kind of gives it some depth and dimension and really makes my lips stand out rather than just putting on regular red lipstick. There are um, matte lipsticks, and there's the kind that tend to look glossy or things like that, and I prefer matte because they stay on better. Glossier lipsticks have the oils and stuff in them, so they tend to kind of feather around your lip line and come off, or when you're out, you end up having it here or up here, and I know that if I'm shooting or at a car show or even just at the grocery store, the last thing I want is to have my lipstick somewhere else on my face and not know it. Especially because red lipstick, when it gets on your skin, it stains your skin even if you wipe it off. So you'll tend to always have a mark there. Um, but those are my staples. These are the ones that I shoot in. If I go somewhere I wear, these are what you see in my photos. If I want to do something a little less, um, I like to do kind of a tinted balm. Um, my most favorite is Maybelline's Baby Lips. The orange tube, it's kind of a red color. Um, it's thinner. It's a kind of a glossy, more natural red. But like most pinups, we don't like to stray too far from our red lips. So that kind of lets me stay there without having to wear heavy red lipstick, especially in Oklahoma's heat right now. Because the last thing you want is a bunch of anything on in 113 degree heat. There are other kinds of lip products like Elf's Matte Lip Color. Um, this is like $1.99 at Target. It stays on great. It's kind of chunky, so it covers a lot of lip. It's not too sharp or leaves any like heavy kind of streaks in your lip color. There's also stains like Duops Lip Venom. The only thing about stains that I have a problem with, I don't know if any other girls do, is that it tends to stain inside my lip or around my lip. It doesn't stay one consistent color. It may when I put it on, but within an hour I'm kind of tie-dyed and that's never fun. There are a few other ones. Um, L'Oreal has a new kind of balm and it's thinner. It's not as heavy. Uh, Revlon also. This one's probably a little heavier on color as far as the balms go. And then this is Flirt's brand from Kohl's, and it is my glossy red lipstick. So if I just want to throw on a glossy red um, to have it feel lighter on my lips, but still have my signature red, this is the one I go to. Uh, 
Matte lipsticks tend to dry your lips out a lot more because they don't have oils and things in them. So I definitely recommend in the morning or at night, um, I usually use it at night, is a really good lip balm. I used to do Burt's Bees and things like that, but they just tend to sit on top of your lip. They don't really moisturize. And then I was sent some of Dr. Rubin's World Famous Lip Balm. And this stuff, I have to tell you, is the only thing I use now. It is in my nightstand in my bedroom, and I use it constantly. It's the only thing that actually seems to soak into my lips and help them rather than anything else. I have a lot of other lip balms. I have Vaseline, uh, Neosporin's brand, um, Chapstick. None of them really work the same. They just kind of, like I said, sit on top of my lips. So if you are a red lipstick fiend like me, you need a good lip balm. This is a good one. They are out of California. They have a Facebook page, website. They sell pomade for all you grease heads out there. Really good pomade. Um, I think I will be using some of that pretty soon to do some victory rolls and see if they stay up better for me and maybe do a video on that for you guys soon. Um, but that is kind of my lip product that I use. Like I said, my trusty is my CoverGirl, my Urban Decay. These are the ones that I use. Uh, they really give you that signature pinup look. Um, I have on all right here the same stuff I was wearing yesterday. Uh, but as you can see, it's not as intense until you put on your red lips. They really give you that uh, sassy, feminine different facial feature that a lot of girls don't rock anymore because red lips are kind of scary. I didn't ever wear them before and it took me a long time to get comfortable enough to wear mine but now I kind of feel like myself in my red lips more than I don't. So I'm going to put these on so you guys can kind of see what it looks like going from no red lips to red lips. I'm also going to prove that these are the products that I've been using so my mirror is behind you and that's kind of what I'm going to lean into so you can kind of see. But I'm going to start, not necessarily right in the corner, kind of just line, like so. Get it on there. Can't really talk while I'm putting it on because I'll mess it up. Then Cupid's bow, like so. And there we go. I kind of look like silly. <laughs> I try to stay um, on my natural lip line. I don't go outside of it because as soon as you go outside of your lip line, that's usually where you have the trouble of it bleeding. So I stay put. It looks like it's kind of time for me to get some new lipstick because this is almost gone. But then you put this on like so. Mm -hmm. There you go. Red lips? Mm -hmm. See? Mm, red lips. I hope that uh, that helps some of you ladies out there that are really falling in love with this lip color. I know I did. It stays on. It's dramatic. It's pinup. It's vintage. It's retro. It makes girls happy on the inside. Who doesn't love a good pair of red lips? So this is my longest video, but it really lets you guys know what kind of products are good. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. So I will see you probably in a few weeks with a new video. Love you guys.